Enrollment season is once again upon us kapatid in the terrible, terrible place we call law school. Ang mga susunod na mga buwan ay ang pasakan na ng iyong mga transcript of records, diploma at iba pang mga requirements para sa iyong pagpasok sa law school. Sino ba naman kasi ang hindi matatangay sa hype? Sa mga pila ng mga barista na clear bag lang ang daladala. Pero ani mo'y bit-bit din. Hindi lang ang kanilang mga sariling pangarap, kundi pangarap na rin ng kanilang mga kaibigan, kaklase at mga minamahal sa buhay. Pasan-pasan din nila ang pag-asa ng mga lahat ng mga hindi kukuha ng bar exam. Mga barista na nag-positive, mga sumuko sa review, mga pumanaw na ngayong pandemya at syempre ikaw din kapatid. Ikaw na nangangharap pa lang na makapasok sa law school. In tonight's episode, I want to share with you five tips on how to ace your entrance exam interview. All of this and more coming right up. This episode is brought to you by Dekada! 10 life lessons from 10 years in law school. Sakdang ito ako na ang nagkamali na dapa, lumuha at nasaktan para ikaw kapatid ay makatapos sa loob ng apat o anim na taon. Think of it as a game guide, a cheat sheet that you can use throughout your law school journey. By purchasing this ebook, you are sowing the seeds of free legal aid for those who fall within the gaps of the law. With your help, we can bring the law to the people and more people to the law. Grab your copy through the link in the description down below. Hi, my name is Lex and welcome to Lex in Motion. In this channel, I'll be helping you build your competence, confidence, and capability in law school. Start today by hitting the subscribe button below. New episodes are posted every Friday. In Pimentel versus Legal Education Board, the Supreme Court has struck down with finality the requirement of passing the FILSAT to be admitted to law school. Ibig sabihin kapatid ay hindi mo na kailangang maging FILSAT passer para makapasok ka sa law school. Ngayong panahon ng pandemya ay kaunti na lamang ang mga law schools na mayroon mga written exam na kalakip ang kanilang admission process. Ngayon, mas material sa kanila ang magiging mga sagot mo pagdating sa law school interview. Dadalawa ang klase ng mga interview para makapasok ka sa law school. Sa unang klase ay panel interview. This means that you will face off with two or three members of the school's faculty. They will typically ask you about why you want to be a lawyer, why you are in law school, and how you intend to fund your law school education. If you are a fresh college graduate, they will ask you about your hopes, dreams, and aspirations in life. Kung sakaling makikita na sa iyong personal data sheet na ikaw kapatid ay sumasampung taon na mula nung ikaw ay huling umapak sa isang paaralan, asahan mo kapatid na marami ang tanong kung paano o bakit naisip mo na ngayon, ngayon ay gusto mo nang maging abogado. Another kind of entrance exam interview operates as a mock class. You and your fellow applicants will be pulled together into one Google Meet or Zoom call. All of you will be asked to answer a series of hypothetical problems. There is only one correct answer to every problem but as you are not yet in law school, there is really no way for you to arrive at the correct answer. Answer. The good thing in this kind of interview is that you are not being graded on whether or not you are correct. This interview grades you on your logic, analysis, and how you argue your answer. Here are five tips on how to ace your law school admission interview. Tip number one, acknowledge that you have very little knowledge of the law. You are in law school precisely because you want to learn the law. Hindi ka pumapasok ng law school kapatid para maging tobero o inhinyero. Narito ka ngayon. Para maging abogado. All of our law school journeys have to start somewhere. If yours has to begin today, when you are in your point zero zero in the Cartesian plane of your law school journey, you have little to no knowledge of the law. When you're being asked in your interview, do not bring up your understanding of the revised penal code, the civil code, or any other law that you feel might be relevant to the problem. Ililibing ka dyan ng buhay, kapatid. Makaisa o dalawang putok ka man ay mau ubusan ka ng bala bago maubusan ng tanong ang interviewer. Instead, focus on giving answers that are simple, logical, believable, and aligned with the ordinary human experience. We do not need you to flex your knowledge of the preamble. We are grading you not on how much of the law you know, but your potential ability to learn the law. 
Tip number two, do not rush your answer. You have very, very little time in your interview to impress. Often, your first few words or sentences will be the basis of how well your entire interview will go. My tip here, kapatid, is to pause, is to take a long, deep breath and try to calm the F down. I know that no one in the entire history of forever who has been told to calm down has actually calmed down. Pero subukan mo pa rin, kapatid. Next step, take another deep breath, kapatid. Then acknowledge that however way you answer the next problem is going to be a spec, a dot. Tuldok lang yan na maituturing in the bigger, grander picture of your law school story sa iyong magiging alamat bilang papalit kay Din Riano, bilang associate justice o isang chief justice ng ating Supreme Court 35 years down the road. Pausing before you answer will allow you to compose your answer in your head. Use this chance to impress your interviewer. Tip number three. In most of these interviews, you will be asked to pick a side. Once you pick a side, hold on to that position. Stick with it and never ever let it go. Most of these hypothetical problems involve the liability of a person. You will be first asked to decide if X is liable. Once you decide on a position, kunwari, X is liable, panindigan mo yan, kapatid. Lahat ng mga kasunod na mga katanungan ay itatanong precisely because you are being tested on how well you stand by your argument, how well you stand by your answer, how well you challenge, and how well you make counter-arguments. This brings me to tip number four. Be confident in your answers. Even if the interviewer makes your answer sound wrong in your ears or in your head, the goal of each and every follow-up question to your problem is to make you change your answer. If you change your answer, you will be called out for it. Much, much later in your law school journey, but hopefully before you start practicing the law, you will learn that every position is a tenable position. Ibig sabihin, kapatid, ay hindi tayo makakapili ng mga kliyente o kung ano mang kagimbal-gimbal o karimarimarim na bagay ang kanilang mga nagawa. Every position is a tenable position. In practice, you will learn that Every position is a tenable position. It does not matter if you think the law is on your side. You can lose your position if you do not argue well. Being confident in your answers is going to be a factor on how well you argue. Tip number five, it's okay to doubt yourself after the law school admission interview. It's perfectly valid to feel that you could have said more or you could have argued otherwise. It's okay if you feel you need a time machine so you can go back to the precise moment of your interview and somehow change your answers. If you ever feel doubt on yourself, that's all right, kapatid. The doubts are going to be Part of the game, even on the first day of your bar exam. However, that is not yet your battle. Your battle now lies ahead as you prepare for your admission for law school. One of the ways you can prepare is by researching the life of hardworking working law students. This is where we can help. The Law School Bootcamp is our program to help determine if you are for law school, if law school is for you or both. It's designed to emulate the harsh, harsh world of the hardworking working law student. You will be given long lists of cases for you to research, read, and study. During your class, you will be called to recite. You will be graded accordingly. You will be given feedback on how you can improve. There will also be quizzes, case digests, and essays for you to write, just as you would in law school. We will meet from 6 p.m. to 10 p.m. during weeknights, and on the weekends, we will meet from 1 p.m. onwards, just as in law school. The law school bootcamp is happening this March 14 to 20, 2022. Register today and enjoy a 20% early bird discount through the link in the description box below. If you would like to see more videos on how to build your capability in law school, please let me know by typing yes in the comments down below. Thank you so much for watching. Like and share this video for good law school karma and I will see you next Friday.